Like how I relate the question. Number one, there is length. Number two, there is angle. Right now, there's angle in your ABCD, right? Now. So any chapter that links to lengths and angles, trigonometry, right? Now. So that's the only thing. Then when you see trigonometry, then it links to right the triangle. But you don't have to draw a line to convert it. Uh, so that's the idea. So now your level increased already, right? Everyone, skip everything. I want you to look at number 10. Let me tell you what is level 1. And let me tell you what is level 10. Okay, level 1 and level 10. Okay, so everyone, level 1 and level 10, big difference. Okay, so what happened is that I'll need you to try it out. Okay, I'll get you like 2-3 minutes. Tell me the answer for ABCD. Okay, go ahead. When you start, you type okay. A few moments later. Okay, let me tell you what is level 1. First of all, A, come on. X is an angle. The ABC unit told you that there's an angle there, right? And then 25 and 40 is like length. Any chapter, any chapter that you learned in form 3, okay, it talks about length and angles. Which one? Obviously, trigonometry. Lah, right? Then when you talk about trigonometry, there's only one thing that you need to know. Right angle triangle, but you don't have it, right? right? So, uh, Kyan, you go to the top, there's a bird there, right? right? There's a bird. Ah, okay. The bird pang sai, you know it's pang sai, right? Ah, pang sai. Okay. See, you know, right angle triangle. La. Then you move the 14 to 7, 7, this is 25, right? right? Ah, then you prepare your calculator. So now you will solve this angle by using the 25 and 7. Then 180 minus the angle. La. So I will treat this as y, la, okay? So according to my 7 and 25, it states adjacent and hypotenuse. So cos y sum and 7 over 25. To solve the angle, repeat, oh, to solve the angle, you need to place negative 1. Right on. So what are you going to type there? Okay, in your calculator, so you're going to type this. Uh, you're going to type shift cos 7 over 25, right? Now. Shift cos, cos negative 1, right? So, oops, let me convert a bit. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to type, wait, there is one student coming in. Okay, so what we're going to type is that we're going to type uh, cos negative 1, oops. I keep typing the wrong thing. Huh? Okay, so you're going to type like cos negative 1, then 7 over, 7 over, 25. Then you will get your answer as much. You get answer as 73.74 degrees. La. So therefore, x sama dengan 180 minus the answer. Then you get the answer already. The answer is C. Answer. Ah, you can. Is some question like pang sai. Okay, not. Okay, so simple. La. Okay, just draw like one line, then you can solve it. Because like, how I relate the question. Number one, there is length. Number two, there is angle. Right now, there's angle in your ABCD. Right now, so any chapter that links to lengths and angles, trigonometry. Right now, so that's the only thing. Then when you see trigonometry, then you links to right the triangle, but you don't have to draw a line to convert it. Uh, so that's the idea. So now your level increased already. Right now, okay, let's do level ten. Okay, let's do level ten. Okay, level ten, right? Is actually in your previous notes, la, But you don't have to purposely take it out. I will display the question. I will display the question, explain it to you, then you solve. This one, I get you more time. Okay, I want you guys to challenge it. Okay, to challenge it. Wait, uh, let me pause it first. Let my answer review already. Okay, so this question is actually from students. They say, teacher, I cannot solve the question name. Very hard. Okay, because this, this student uh, tried out the question in, in the booklet that I, that I passed it to you guys. Okay, so you notice that, teacher, I cannot solve this. Or the question got problem, is it? I say, no, the question got no problem. You got problem. Wait. Okay, nah, nah, nah. see, see. Okay, kawan, kawan, sekalian. Inilah soalan dia. Just now level one, ah, this one level ten. Ah, level ten. This one level ten. Hey, eh, students, let me read out the question to you. Okay, the question works this way, you know. It says there is a huge circle with center O. There is a tangent line. Listen to my question, you know. There's a tangent line PQ. Tangent line PQ and P obviously being the tangent point, ah. Okay, P is the tangent point, and then. P to Q shows 8 cm, R to Q shows 4 cm, and RQ line is perpendicular to PQ. So that's why there's a 90 degree. So the question asks for what, you know, the, the, the question asks for radius of the circle. When you start, you type 2. You find, you found this answer, let me know. Go. A few minutes later. 
So I'm going to start the question now. Okay. So everybody, let me know if you feel like slapping yourself in a while because you're like, shit, did you actually draw that? But then I erase it really. Okay. Definitely there will be students mentioning this thing. Okay. So let's, let's do it now. Okay. Come, Mari. Can you know? Or number. Okay. First of all, you have to you have to be what you know you have to be super curious you have to try whatever shit okay you have to do try and error because you don't know whether you need those length or not but you just do extra because when you do extra you earn more money in the future right hey so huh? suddenly got motivations all right okay so the first thing i do is to do like i uh, get that like pq length because obviously you see a 4 cm there you see an 8 cm you see 90 degree your hand will be itchy and go and draw that pq right so that's the reason why i say it. Why I said students get 8.944. Ah, that's the one. Uh. So the first working, I just tried for fun. I don't know whether I need it or not, you know. So um, 8 square plus 4 square because of Pythagoras theorem. So boom, boom, boom. So it comes out 8.944. The more decimal points you place, the better, right? So this will be 8.944. But then don't forget. Your ultimate goal is to get the radius. So to get the radius, then you say, oh, teacher, I have to take the center and draw out, right? Then to do say, teacher, draw to which, which part? The answer is, if I say there is point there, connect to the point, uh, right? Now. So the first one I connect to, is to R. The second I connect is to P. And I notice, hey, student, this is a circle. That's a center point. That's a tangent point. 90 degree. Right now. Then to do say, teacher, wait, I notice something. Teacher. This one ISO service. I know two radius, man. Right, right. Then remember I said our level one, very cheap one, those that question. Korean say very hard, right? Yeah. Similar. Because you see, students, this is circle, you know. Circles most of the question. I mean circles, circle relating to tangent. In your form tree, most of the time there is angles inside, right? Come on. So far there is no angle, go and find some angles. Huh? Then after that, there's length there. 100 percent trigonometry. Really. If I say different trigonometry, huh? it means sine cos theta. Right angle triangle, right, right? Don't forget your ultimate goal is to get the radius. Then I notice of all student, I much got some hint ready. That's why I say you have to draw a lot of lines. Dot 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 dot. Uh, this one is like the burung pang side, but then got wind blow. <laughs> hey, second radian. Ah, I see this one. Then what I do is that I notice student. Like Kyan said, teacher, I take that 8.944, I divide by two. That's why I say you're right. Ah, the reason why you divide by 2 because you are trying to convert it to 4.47, right? Okay, then I, I, I do some planning a bit. Huh? 8.944 divided by 2. Okay, you get 8.944 divided by 2. You will get 4.472. Lah. Okay, 4.472. Okay, so the reason why I do that, because I draw that line already, I form a lot of right angle triangles and you have the radius there. So how do I lead to that answer? Easy. Look at the sine cos that I'm going to do now. I'm going to work out this angle and then I'm going to use my 90 degree to work out the other angle over here. Then I can solve already. Because I have my length here and I have my angle here so I can solve my radius. Ah, so my first angle being my RPQ. So I use my tangent, which is 4.8. I don't want to use that 8.944 because it's like never ending decimals. I use the original 4.8 cm. So tangent. Tangent, angle, RPQ. I prefer to use the original uh, like alphabets instead of like put like theta. Angle X, I don't like that. So opposite for uh, your adjacent will be 8 because of tangent. You don't have to purposely simplify it with your time. So remember I said to solve the angle, you have to do like uh, shift tangent in your calculator, right? Or maybe tangent negative 1. So you're going to do shift tangent. And then 4 over 8. Okay, 4 over 8. You'll be getting um 26.57 with... You're going to place 0.57, but... You are keeping your longest decimal points answer in your calculator because you're going to use this in a while. So I'm writing this, you know. Then next, 90 minus 26.57. Will the mark 90 minus answer? See, I type answer there, right? 90 tolak answer. Answer. See that? Uh, type that. So 63.43 degrees because it must be matching, but you are still keeping the longest one. Right? Not the longest one. Keep this. So now I'm going to highlight the ultimate. The last part, ah, ini lah dia. your last step, right, right? So your last step, what you're going to do, simple, because you have your, you have your 4.472, you had your angle here at what, as 63.43, remember I use the longest decimal point here, then you do your adjacent and hypotenuse, which is the R, adjacent hypotenuse, cos, 
cos 63.43 degrees. This is like the fake answer. Huh? This one is the longest one. I'm using this. Then adjacent 4.472 divided by radius. Do your linear equation. R equals to 4.472 divided by cos 63.43 degrees. I'm going to divide now. 4.472 divided by cos answer. All right. Think on. Think on For that. Uh, then boom, your answer 9.99. But I will round off because I said two decimal point minimum, right? So eventually this becomes 10 cm. Ding ding. That's how I solve this question. Okay, so see or not, see the difference or not, level one and level 10. Okay, bye.